One of the other constants that we have used in this class is E cell or the cell potential for a, an electrochemical cell. So let's take a second and see how E cell and delta G are related to each other. So there's a formal equation that says uh, delta G naught is equal to negative e NF E naught cell. So we know about delta G and we know about E naught cell. Um, well, let's take a look at N and F. And with this, the equation is not that hard, but kind of the tricky part is uh, keeping track of the units involved and then N uh, for the reaction. So delta G is, of course, our G, uh, gives free energy, but once again, the units need to be in joules per mole, and we'll see why in uh, just a second. Uh, N is the tricky part, which is the number of electrons transferred in the reaction. So to be able to convert delta G into E cell or vice versa, I need to be given the reaction that is going on inside of my electrochemical cell. And we'll talk about how do we find N in just a second. So F is Faraday's constant, it's just a constant, and then E naught cell is, uh, once again, in volts. So it's a little hidden inside of here, but you gotta remember if I multiply volts times coulombs, I get joules. So this is why my uh, Gibbs free energy needs to be in joules per mole. So typically they give you delta G's in kilojoules per mole, I gotta convert it to um, uh, joules per mole. So when you look at this, the equation is pretty straightforward. When we are, we're using electrochemical cells, in order for electrons to flow, we needed to have a positive E cell. Well, this equation says that a positive E cell is uh, directly related to a negative delta G. So negative delta G means a spontaneous process, and that's really what we're looking at with E naught cell. It means a positive number, it means electrons are flowing. So the exact opposite is true. If I had a negative E naught cell, then it means as drawn, the electrochemical cell is not flowing electrons, and that corresponds to a positive delta G or a non-spontaneous process. So let's actually use this calculation because uh, this one's a little bit trickier. And remember, I need to be given the actual reaction. So I give you E naught cell in volts, and I say, what's delta G for this reaction? So most of the other pieces are, are given are pretty straightforward. I need to find N, and what N is, is in my bounced equation for my reaction, how many electrons are being transferred. So if I look at this, I kind of pull the two pieces apart, and uh, sometimes you can kind of look at the reaction and come up on in this, how many electrons are being transferred. So remember, we have a redox reaction, oxidation re reduction, and really what's happening is electrons are being transferred um, inside of this reaction. So as is, so you don't want to change the stoichiometry, if I look at the two half reactions that are going on in this overall reaction, I have copper plus gaining electron to become copper solid, and copper solid uh, giving up an electron to become copper plus. And I say, well, how many electrons are being transferred in this reaction? One. So this can change depending on the reaction, but here only one electron is being transferred um, during my redox reaction. So we know N is equal to one. So I was given the number of volts for my E naught cell, uh, Faraday's constant, I, I look up, and then N is equal to one because of my electrochemical equation. So here now, I do the calculation, I get my delta G, negative 1.06 times 10 to the fifth joules per mole. Remember that um, because um, joules, excuse me, uh, volts times coulombs give me uh, joules, that's why it's a joules per mole inside of here. So volts times coulombs gives me joules and then the, the, the mole remains. So the units that I get out for delta G is um, joules per mole. So delta G is a negative number, that means a spontaneous process, and that makes sense because uh, a positive E naught cell means that we have electrons flowing. A positive E naught cell corresponds to a negative delta G or a spontaneous process.